guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a favorites video. I haven't done a favorites video since August, so this is going to be my September, October, November beauty favorite. So I do have a lot of products on my beauty table right now for you guys, and I'm so excited. I have been loving for a long time, or just recently been loving, and I'm first going to be starting with my brushes. So the first one I use is actually for blush. This is the Real Techniques stippling brush so i use this actually for blush just to stipple on the product and i really do like this product for it you can't really i mean it's a kabuki brush you can't really use it for foundation i really just like to use it for blush so the next brush is the morphe m530 i actually love this for bronzer which i just use right under and then i use it everywhere i use it right under the blush i'll use it right on my hairline my forehead jawline on my nose and on my chin i really love this brush i actually been loving it because you can just like use such a light hand and you can just brush it through i actually have other brushes too but this is has been my favorite and the highlighting brush i've been loving also is the morphe m501 this is honestly a classic i like to just go right there on the tip and go right there on the cheekbone and then i'll go kind of in like a c shape and then I'll go right there on the brow bone. And then I'll go on down the bridge of the nose, the nose, the cupid's bow, and the chin, or really anywhere I where I want to. And then I've been loving this all under the eyes to do concealer, to get around the nose. Morphe M173. So what I like about this is I use this under my eyes if I don't have a beauty sponge. And then I'll get right into the smaller areas where your brush or your sponge can't. And I'll get right there, right in the inner corner. So it doesn't look, it just like looks very dark. So I like to just go right here in the inner and just blend it out. This brush is the Sigma Tapered Blending E35. I love this just to blend out the product so it doesn't make, make it look too harsh. I actually do like this to start to do my transition. So I always like to use browns or if I need to add more color, I use that and I really like it. I always like to do it on the lower lash line too if you need to smoke it out. This product has still been my ride or die. This is the Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number five, which I love it because it comes with a spoolie and then it comes with a brow pencil. It's a darker color. I actually had to get it with a Desi Perkins kit and they only had shade number five which is not bad but you know for everything in makeup you can just use a light hand and blend so i really do like this and what i like about this kit is it has everything it has your brow your brow setter your foolproof brow powder then the precisely my brow pencil which fits perfectly and then this is what you highlight under your brows which i love this is the Benefit High Brow, and then this is the brush. This is, has been like one of my favorite eyebrow brushes. I know it's dirty from the brow pomade, but I just love this spoolie. It's so nice and soft. So I really like this, and I think this is only limited edition for the holiday season last year. I actually got this a few months ago, and don't mind me, I, of course, I have eyelashes on the back of it. I do like this, and look how beautiful this is. But yeah, I really like that kit. It's very good for travel friendly if you just like need to bring it somewhere and you just have all those brow products. I'm kind of going all over the place, but I kind of want to go into skincare right now. So I want to talk about this product. It's all Dermalogica products because if you watch my channel, if you follow me on my makeup Instagram, you know how much I love Dermalogica. It honestly has saved my dry, sensitive skin. So this, I just got a new one a few weeks ago. This is the, from the calming line, this is the Ultra Calming Serum Concentrate. It is after I tone, and I just love Cater. Like, it's so cute. You just squeeze it out, put it through your hands, and then you just tap it. I see people tap it or rub it in. It's honestly your preference. I put it everywhere from my face, under my eyes, anywhere where I need that. It just really helps to calm my skin if I have a bad skin day or if I'm breaking out. And then this is for the morning time. This is the Dermalogica Prisma Protect SPF 30 Light Activated Skin Defense. And what I love about this is this is my morning moisturizer, which has SPF of 30, so it protects. I love this product. I'm actually almost out. I can feel it. And this was expensive. This is around $60, which all Dermalogica is very expensive. But when I tell you it's worth it, it is literally worth every penny. And you honestly don't even need that much. Like for every 
fit for every product in Dribble Launch. I literally need like a pea size amount and it goes such a long way. But this is, it protects me from the sun and it's just a very good moisturizer during the morning. I've used it since spring time and I absolutely love this product. What I use is the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant and yes, this is an exfoliator and yes, I know if you have dry sensitive skin, it does rip your skin, but I only use this twice a week i use this always at night time so it's kind of if i'm like feel like my skin is very dry like a night before i'm filming a video or doing my makeup i'll use this but this was 15 dollars, and i literally got this like a year ago and it still has worked still i still have like half of it left and it's good if you can see that it's good for two years so what I do is I like wash my face and then I get the Dermalogica Intensive Moisture Cleanser. This is very good too. I love this. It's very calming to the skin. So I use this and then I mix it with the exfoliator. I mix it in my hands and I literally just lather it in and just really scrub to get all that dead skin off and it really works. It is just so good on and really scrub it in for a good 30 to 40 seconds i really try not to do that much because you know exfoliators usually like grip out the skin and just take all the good parts of your skin out and it really just irritates it and my, actually this microfoliant has not irritated it i tried the neutrogena one and i hated it all the skincare which obviously is all dermalogica and then these i have two primers that i just recently love this i used it today to prime my skin and I also used it in Yashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. This is so good. And I heard about like Jacqueline Kupfer in a video, I think like maybe last year, maybe like six or seven months ago, that you should not mix this with your foundation. So just say if I drop it in my Maybelline foundation, you will look so oily and greasy and like just separate. So want to make sure that you do that when you use this primer you use this primer first all i do is i literally just drop it on my face and i pat it everywhere and it just made my skin if you can see it just looks so pretty and glowy and hydrated and very dewy and healthy and have been loving this and i did have a review on this and it's up on my youtube channel i will link it in the description box down below or put it in some of these one of these corners this is the milk makeup hydro grip primer this is the mini this is only 15 dollars. i think it was around the summertime and i still have a lot left i went through half of it so you know you just squirt it um just one or two pumps and i usually use it wherever i get oily or oily fast I usually just put it right here i put it everywhere but i mostly just put it right here by my nose right here and it works so good you can use it your hands a brush it's just so nice and cooling and it's very like sticky and tacky which i really like because that means it's going to stay on all day long i just use this today because i'm not really going anywhere i just had to film up some videos for you guys going to foundation now i just finally am going back to this foundation because we're going to winter time and i wear this when i'm light this is the maybelline dewy and smooth fit me foundation in porcelain 110 it is like i'm literally almost all in this i have on this on my channel last year too and i loved this foundation it is so good so full coverage so hydrating i really recommend it if you have sensitive or dry skin and they also have a matte and poreless one for anybody that has oily skin and i really love this i'm so excited to be back on to this Hi guys, I'm actually editing my beauty favorites that I just did for you guys a few days ago and I actually forgot to talk about my ride or die concealer and I know I, I look crazy, I have pimples all over me. I'm actually just editing my video right now, but I love the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Light Capturing Self Setting Concealer. I'm in the shade 22, so I got this last year. Or probably I think I got this around summertime and I've been loving this product you if you watch my videos you know how much I've been loving this product it's so dewy and liquidy and hydrating and just goes so nicely under the eyes and any blemishes you need to cover up even though it's self-setting concealer I always powder under my eyes to avoid any creasing but this has been my ride or die concealer the this whole entire year of 2019 I really love this and I really didn't talk about a concealer because I really haven't found one that has been that does justice like this one so i really just wanted to tell you guys if i say it in my favorites video but i hope you guys enjoy the video now some face products now is 
this powder I've been loving. I actually been really loving the Laura Mercier translucent powder setting powder, but I've been back to this. I use this today and I literally have no creasing under my eyes, which I usually do. If you watch my channel, you know, I struggle with dry under eyes. I have literally no creasing and I use the Hourglass Veil Charm and I love this. This is the travel size and I still have a lot left. You know, like Hourglass is a very expensive brand so I, you know, I just watch how much I spend but this was just the travel size. This was like $23 and I still have a lot left. No, this one was $19. The Laura, Laura, Laura Mercier Mini is $23 but I really like this product. Loving this. This, I've been trying to find a good bronzer i really do want to try the baked bronzer from, from milani or flower beauty i can't use a butter bronzer because like that scent really bothers me from physician's formula so this is the benefit hula bronzer this is the mini and i always was worried that this makes my skin like look very muddy but it doesn't it's like the perfect shade it just looks so beautiful on my skin again i use this brush i can maybe do a little bit for you guys and just show you I just use a really light hand go around the forehead I just love a bronzed forehead I just love to look very sun-kissed so I'll just use a little bit of that and then if I need it I'm going to do this for you guys real quick I love this brush It just it's so beautiful and then highlighter i actually didn't use this in the video today but i probably talk about this in every single one of my favorites videos this is the maybelline master chrome 250 highlighter you know you love a product when you literally hit pan i have never hit pan on a highlighter in my life and just you just know how good of a product this is it is just so pretty i don't even have to swatch it i swatch it all the time and you can just see how pigmented and beautiful and creamy and buttery it is it's just the perfect frosty color for all the fair tone skin girls and i love how nikki tutorials collabed with maybelline on this because she is very fair so it just worked out perfectly so those are all the face products i know this just released a few weeks ago and i only did one look on this palette and i will i will link my review in the description box down below as well but this is a tati beauty volume one texture neutrals palette I honestly don't have to say any words. I just, you can't love this because she created four different textures. So you have glitter, metallic, sequin, and matte, and then you have all of your shade names. And I just love this because you have every look for the season. So you can do fall, Christmas, New Year's. Christmas and New Year's is a really big one that is in this palette, you know, with all of your glitters and your shimmers. Even like a Valentine's Day look with all those pinks. But do you see how every column has a story? So there's memory, ritual, story, soothe, aura, and poet. I just love this palette. Size 2. I just really love this. It's my baby. My baby. Last two products are lip products that I actually use today. And I talk about this time and time again. This is the Laneige lip glowy balm and peach for christmas i really do want to get like the grapefruit or the pear it is just so good and it's literally a glowy balm what it says the leap the lip sleeping mask is so good too it just makes your lips look so glossy and it has like a tint to it so when i use this like orange peach one it just makes it have like a little orange tint to it like it's just so pretty and i just like love like little packaging oh my gosh it's so cute and i have this i've had this for a few months and it is it was $15, which is expensive, but it's lasted a long time, which I love about these brands though. These are more expensive brands. They are expensive, but you really don't need that much. Like I only use this when I need it, mostly before I do my makeup, just to have my skin moisturized while I do it when I get ready for the lipstick. The lip combo I did today, I love this. It's what I'm wearing right now. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Crush. This is the perfect pink soft nude. And I actually liked it because like I didn't go that overboard on like the like the eye look. I mean it's a little glam, but it's like a soft glam. And then this was just beautiful. Oh, I love it. 
and then um if you like it just like very matte sticky i mean it's not sticky it's just very matte and just stays um you can keep it like that but i love i'm a gloss girl i love to have some gloss so i have i use the fenty beauty gloss one with diamond milk they just came out with a trophy wife one like the gold one and i'm so excited but this is when i really want my gloss like when i really want my lips to pop but like you know like have like those juicy glossy wet looking lips but i just use my ring finger and i tap it in the middle part of my lip and then i just do like a little kissy face like this and i just tap it through i can do it right now like like this like that's all i do and i just i love how it looks i love this alone it just tastes and smells so good the nars oil infused lip tint and orgasm which again talked about this time and time again but i just love the applicator it's so nice juicy on the lips it gives you a tint it's a it's a lip balm but it has a tint in it so it feels like a lip gloss but it's not sticky which is the best combo ever and i wear this if i'm going like shopping or if i'm going to work just like something to put on to last a little bit because i do wear a chapstick i'm like a chapstick freak about this it, i don't know if you can see it you can see it a little bit it has like some gold reflux in it that's so pretty okay guys this wraps up my september october november beauty favorites i really hope you guys like this video if you like this video make sure you guys give us a big thumbs up so i know you guys like these kinds of videos if this is your first time stopping by hi welcome make sure to subscribe to the down below make sure to hit the notification bell right for my name to be notified of every video i upload and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys thank you so much for watching the foundation or concealer it looks very blue and just Kind of, no wait, yeah. I protect and I love this. Oh, I keep dropping this. So, okay, guys, this is this finished.